expressed on this program are not those of IntellectualRadio.com, its subsidiaries, or sponsors. Encouraging, educating, and empowering you into action. This is Warriors Talk with your host, Lady Rochelle. Hello, hello. Welcome to Warriors Talk with author and founder Lady Rochelle, where we move away from awareness towards action. It's Relationship Monday, and our topic for today is the biggest mistake women make in dating. We are live on Intellectual Radio. We just heard from the Drive at Five with Roman. Keep it locked right here on Intellectual Radio and allow us to feed your brain. On the last episode of Warriors Talk, Doc Michelle and I talked about self-care for caregivers. Go over to YouTube, type in Intellectual Radio for any episodes of Warriors Talk that you may have missed. Our quote of the day is, if you want something real, stop dating temporary people. We are grateful for our sponsors. We have Gloria Dotson with Mary Kay. She's catering to all of your beauty needs from head to toe. Paula Kelly with Allstate, fulfilling all of your insurance needs in one place. Pastor Michael Richardson with the Emmanuel Church of God in Christ, who gives you your spiritual food every Sunday morning at 10, 15 a.m. on Facebook. Let's hear a word from our sponsor. Greetings, I am Pastor Michael Richardson. And I am First Lady Anastasia Richardson from the Emmanuel Church of God in Christ. We're located at 3058 West Van Buren in Chicago, Illinois. We are building upon a solid foundation. And we're inviting you to join us every Sunday morning on Facebook Live at Emmanuel Kojic at 1015 Central Standard Time. And you can also view our videos on our YouTube channel at Emmanuel Kojic-MR. Once again, this is Pastor Michael Richardson and First Lady Anastasia Richardson. And we are from the Emmanuel Emmanuel Church Church of of God God in Christ. Christ. We are building building upon upon a a solid foundation. foundation. Here are your trending topics for today. According to CNN, the White House health officials are set to announce today that 95% of the federal workforce is in compliance with Biden's administration vaccine mandate. Over 90% of workers have received at least one shot and the other 5% have submitted exceptions applications that were already approved or pending. More than 90% of those employees have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. According to the officials, the vast majority of them that are figuring having to receive the other shot. Earlier this year, Biden imposed stringent new vaccine rules on federal workers, large employers, and healthcare staff in an attempt to contain the latest surge of the COVID-19 virus, particularly after the emergency of the highly transmittable Delta virus. Those are your trending topics for today. If you are tuned in on any form of social media, please like the show, share the show, invite someone else in on the show that you feel may benefit from this valuable information. Co-hosting with me today is none other than cancer activist, motivational speaker, and the founder of the Gal Foundation, Rizal Gilmore, aka Biz. Hello, Rizal. Hello, Lady Rochelle. How are you this evening? I am good. I'm so excited today about this topic. Uh, I just know that I just know we are going to um, have some good comments today. So I just want to dive right in because it seems the ladies are already here. We have Brenda here. We have Tabitha here. We have Kenya here. Ladies, wait, wait, waiting already? Oh my God. Waiting. I need backup. <laughs> Invite somebody else in because I know that um, I'm not the only one over here making mistakes when it comes to dating. So I need y'all to invite some more people in with us so that we can discuss this. So the biggest mistakes resolve that women make, not just in dating, not just in relationships, but when before you even get to that point of a relationship, when you're, you know, when you're interviewing the different individuals that you want to be in a relationship with. So you're in that dating phase. Like, what are the women doing wrong, in your opinion? Who? I got a list. 
I got a list. Come on with this list. First one on the list, playing unavailable games. Okay, explain. You meet a young lady, you're interested in her, but she's either always she's she's busy or you know she got something to do she gotta go walk the dog feed the dog she gotta go to mama's house thanksgiving is like every other day it, she's always busy she's always unavailable to you for you to get to know her or to learn you know what she's about or anything it's like you just don't stand a chance like what, what's going on here like you know we exchange numbers for a reason for us to you know maybe see where we can meet at. And now you're just not there. You know, you, you know the games that you're playing. Uh, I don't feel like dealing with him. So I'm going to tell him I'm coming to your house or I'm busy. I got to do this and I got to do always busy. The unavailable games. So you heard that, ladies. The first one was the unavailable games. So why y'all playing these games? Just tell them you don't want to be bothered. Or, I mean, women ghost just like men do. And do we have to explain when we ghost? Should you explain when you ghost? I mean, that right there is an indication. Like you said, if you're not interested, why go through the whole, well, here's my number. Yeah, call me, text me, whatever the case. Anyway, if you're not interested, no, thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Move on. When I That's was younger... When I was younger, Rizal, and guys would ask me for my number, sometimes I would give it to them because I didn't know how to say no, or they was just really persistent. And a lot of times I knew that I wasn't going to talk to them when they called me. Sometimes I would give them somebody else's number and a totally different name altogether. But sometimes they'll be like really persistent and I'll give it to them. And in the back of my mind, it's like, I ain't, I ain't going to talk to you. So if you call me, I'm going to either block your number as soon as you call me or I'm going to give you the runaround because I probably told you in our initial conversation, no, you know, I'm good. No, I'm OK. No, I'm, but you were really persistent. And if I was nasty with you, I didn't know how you was going to act because some people have been harmed because, you know, some guys can't take rejection. And it's probably a small amount that, you know, get violent with you when you reject them. Well, why give the number anyway? Don't give me a false just hope. Told you that that. Something, but give me a false hope that something could possibly happen to come out of this because I'm feeling as though because you and you gave me the right number at that, that there's some type of spark that could light up into a flame of fire. Sometimes maybe when we first saw you, we was like, yeah, I'm giving him my number. Then maybe if we talked to you that one time, it may be like, eh, no, he's you know, it may, it may have been something that. Excuse me. We said, no, he's not my type. No, I see the comments. You need to go to the comments because all I see is the screen just flashing. So before we get behind on those. Um, Brenda said, um, what if he's playing games? If we figure you are playing games, then we don't want to be bothered. We're talking about women. Here we go, putting it on the man. We are talking about women who are playing. This, being this has something to do with her. You just said she was playing. She was unavailable. She may feel like he's playing games. That's why I'm unavailable to you because I don't want to play your games. It's not about the man tonight. It's you're about the listening. woman. We can do the man next listening. week. But you're not listening. The reason why she's unavailable is because he's playing games. That's that's a reason. You just can't skip over I that reason. Know, I, hear it's a reason. I, I hear you. I'm, I'm not going to, we're not going to denounce that of what she said. Um, Lisa said, I'm sorry. Lisa says, um, women share too much information early on. I totally agree with this one. I totally, Lisa, oh my goodness. If, if I had a hundred dollars, I'll give it to you right now. I, I totally agree with this. We talk so much. We tell men everything. He really don't have to do any work because we're going to tell him everything he needs to know. We're going to tell him how to date us, what makes us happy, what to get us in bed. But we'll give him all the information. He just needs to listen. We do. We'll tell them about everybody in our family, our girlfriend problems, everything, everything. Like we talk entirely too much. I agree, Lisa. Why is that? Why is that, ladies? And I'm guilty, so I'm just, I'm not pointing the finger. I'm not going to point the finger at y'all because I've been guilty of this, but I've learned as I'm getting older to just sit back and allow the man to talk because then he's going to tell you everything that he wants you to know. But we don't give him a chance because our mouth is just running. 
Like, you know, shut up, you know, allow him to, it should be a two-way conversation is a two-way street. Hmm. I totally agree. Brenda is cracking up on that one. And you laughing at that one? Um, Kenya says she she agreed. See, the women are agreeing. We are totally agree. Um, Tabitha says, I've done that also, Lady Rochelle. Or after a night out, I didn't remember. <laughs> I didn't remember where I got the number for so, from, so she avoided it. This is true. This is true. So I Tabitha, I totally agree. If you out with your girlfriends and maybe you have been drinking. You know how many guys come at you and you just want to give him off your shoulder. So you may give him your number. He may look cute after a couple of drinks. Then you get home, you, he's calling you like, who is this? Did I give this boy my number? Oh, Lord. Now you got to avoid him. So, I mean, that's an honest mistake, Tabitha. <laughs> so maybe drinking should be on this list as far as mistakes. Mistake. Don't no. drink. Because <laughs> no, drinking is on both ends. It's not just a woman thing. It's on both. Don't ask me for my number. When you see me over here drinking and I'm with my friends, don't not in that atmosphere, maybe, but that's that's the way to get the number easy, though. Well, how so? Well, that's the easy way to get the number. You think I'm that men aren't going to take the easy route? I said that it's I, I'm I'm not blaming them for doing it. Like, and you you get what you get after you get it. It may not be a genuine connection if I'm in the bar drinking with my friends. And you come over there, hey, babe, you look so cute. I've been watching you all night. Can I get your number? And you just, you persistent. Okay, here you go. Because I'm trying to party with my girlfriends. And you know how many numbers we collected that night? We all collected numbers. Quite sure. So y'all just can pick and choose. Oh, I'm going to call, here's Barry, Larry, Teddy, and Mike. When women go out, we go out to have fun. We're not going out to see how many numbers we get, how many guys going to talk. We are genuinely going out to enjoy each other's company. If the men come alone and they flirt with us, that's a bonus. But we can have fun all by ourselves. We don't need, most of you us have men at home anyway. We don't need that. You know the men are going to come. That's why there's ladies night. There they are things that are designed for men and women to get together. Ladies, you, it's the ladies. Y'all go out there and put y'all, y'all put y'all nice little tight black dress on. Or what is it? Your woman catcher on, knowing good and well, your men catcher doing good and well. That hey, I'm not gonna pay for no drinks tonight. He gonna see this, and and this is what y'all collaborating about. Y'all gathered all around to see who gonna be drying, who gonna be buying drinks. Like, oh, well, That's once you just over there buying, buying Tabitha drinks, or wasn't no. you just over there doing? And then it, it just becomes a whole. Mm -mm, it's That's dumb. not what our women don't. A lot of women don't do that. We have we have our own money to go buy our own drinks because I don't want you buying me a drink and thinking you own me for the night. No. Mm -hmm. And you see me over there drinking somebody else drink now. You got a whole attitude. I could buy my own drink. I I don't need you to buy me a drink. Um, Lisa says we give them to we give them the tools to use. Oh wow, Lisa, and dismiss us. Come on, Lisa, you need to be. I'm about to pull you in on the show, Lisa, because um, okay, that was that was a good one right there. That was a good one. Tabitha is agreeing. Um, Brenda said, "What's the name of that that show again?" Okay, let the man talk. Was that for me, Brenda? Brenda, was that for me? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I don't know who, I don't know how you say your name. Is it Shamaya or Shamia? She said that is so true. I mean, well, I, we don't know what comment was she commenting to though? What comment? Um, I hope I said her name right. Um, Cheryl says, I'm not taking the time to have a conversation to determine if you want to be pursued by the man. Communication is key. She goes, Thank you, Cheryl. I can buy my own drinks. I don't, you're not doing anything by buying me a drink. I could buy my own drink. I can buy it myself. She says, um, um, Shamia, I hope that's right. Shamia Mayfield, she says, we like, the, we, like the, we like attention at times, but we really are not there to get a man. Come on, girl. When we say it's ladies night, we are really out there to enjoy our girls. Like we, we are catching up. We are complimenting each other. We dance and getting some of that energy out, especially if we have kids and we've been working all week. Come on, we are really there to end. When they say ladies, night, my idea of ladies night, let me just tell you, this is when, when I used to do ladies night, this is my idea of ladies night. We locked in with strippers. There's no other men but the strippers, right? And we, we they doing their thing, we throwing money on the stage. That was, that's, that was my idea of ladies night back in the day before, you know, 
now I'm with the Lord right now. So I don't came on holy and sanctified. I don't do never those things. No but yeah. when I did, when I did, that was my yeah. idea, ladies night. We yeah. had the actual, we had a lockdown. And we were there, you know, you had your drinks and you had the men doing their thing. We weren't going home with anybody. You know, that was just the energy that we got out from the work week, from the kids. It, it was just that we didn't come to pick up anybody. We went home because most of us, again, our men were at home. So we weren't trying to pick up anybody. I'm not trying to get your number. Now I got to explain why you calling me while I'm with my man. No. Okay. That was just the first one. We need to move. We need to move. Okay. So. But, but, but look, you never know where you're going to find love. So whether you love up in the club or love up in ladies night, whatever, Kate, you just never know. Leave him where you found him in the club. There's no love in the club. Y'all you could be missing the opportunity. No love in the club. Not that type of club. Don't listen to Lady Rochelle, y'all. Don't, don't. I'm Number two. Y'all already know. Ladies, have y'all found love in the club since y'all been going out? Have y'all ever found love in the club? Well, look. Uh, Cheryl said, then, let's see what Cheryl said. Here's a lady. Here's a lady that's saying something. She said, I personally don't think the club is the place to meet someone. I'm old, though. <laughs> Grocery stores, department stores, and bowling alleys. Those well, are places, say, too, Cheryl. Don't discount those places. No, those don't are great places. places. But, at the <laughs> same time, but at the same time, them relationships and them other places ain't working either. So what's the difference if you meet them in the club or you meet them at Walmart? It's up to the individuals if y'all click and y'all mesh together. Can I don't care if you met them hanging, you were skydiving. It's like, hey, you passing them by. You never know where you're going to find love. True. Kimmy says some of the mistakes women can make during dating is thinking he is the one in the first couple of months. Kimmy, 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 if I had another hundred, you would get it, girl. Hey, Kimmy, this get that so money, true. Kimmy. This is so true, Kimmy. I, this is you. This is we. I don't know where we get that from. Where do we get that from? And you know what, Kimmy? I think this is the reason. Because when we're talking to someone or we're dating, because we're talking about dating, we're normally only women tend to only date one person. When men date, they date several, three, four women. Women, we, we date one, which that's not how you date women. Women, that's not how you date. If you're dating and you're not in a commitment with anybody, you can date two, three, four men. And I'm saying dating. I'm not saying sleeping with. OK, I'm saying just dating, trying to collect date. Dating is collecting data, getting information to see who you want to be in that committed relationship with. So I object. Because if you were dating more than one person, you wouldn't we wouldn't feel that way. We definitely wouldn't feel that way in a couple of months. Um, Tabitha said, no love in the club. Shemaya said, nope. No. Cheryl said, liquor. Here we are halfway through the show and we only on number two. We we haven't even said number two. Um, Lisa says, back in the day, it was whatever was whatever. Now girls night out is chilling with the girls and celebrating us. There you go. And that's so true. That's what it's about right now. It's not, it's not about men. That's, that's not what it's about. Okay, so we only did one though. That was the one you said availability, right? Yeah, that was still number one. Okay, I so still got seven more to go. <laughs> okay, so number one on my list is being a tease. The biggest mistake that women make in dating is being a tease. And what I mean by this is, um, so we're dating. Remember, we're just dating. I'm not saying sleeping with. So you're dating this person. You go back to their place and y'all kissing, making out, however you want to say it. And then he tries to push the envelope further. And you're like, nope. But you don't already, and although no is no, but the tone that you're setting right there is like you being a tease, like you're teasing him. Well, that's a total tease. Don't get me all hot and bothered and we ain't going to cook. What? It's no need. We could have stayed cool and, uh, uh, cool and lukewarm wherever else where we was before getting there if we just came in from someplace. Now, you invited me over. You know, it all depends on the vibe. It all depends on how many dates we're in, too. So it's a lot of things that, that plays with, with that one. Stop being a tease. If you know you're not going to give them any. I mean, Don't. the setting, too. So that type of setting could have a person thinking that something more is going to happen. But if you're out at a restaurant, you know, you at you bowling or something like that, then nine times out of ten, it probably won't happen. 
So don't be a tease. Hmm. All right, Rizal, what's number two? Oh, wait. One number two. Oh, that's one, Kimmy. So hold on one second. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just go there, Kimmy. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, I'm sorry. Lisa says, um, we two we set boundaries and what we two set boundaries and commit to it. We did we need to set boundaries and commit to it. We really do. A lot of times we we don't we set the boundaries and they go right out the window. They go See, right out the window. See, this is literally a one man show. Resolve, you should be able to hold your own, regardless if you're the only I man here, hold your own. Don't, and I do. Don't wait on other men to come in. You should be able to hold it. Okay, Kimmy says, I, I, I believe you got this, right? You got it. You froze it off. Um, Kimmy says, no. sleeping too fast with the man. Um, mistake number one, and ignoring the big red flags is mistake number two. Kimmy, girl, if I really had some money, you would be um, $200 richer right now. Um, at having sex too soon is such a big mistake especially when you're just dating right and and when you're when you're having sex then the red flags go out the window because now your your thinking process is is flawed because now women know when you have sex with them now you you have this emotional tie with this person and mm, yes brenda yes yes brenda there you go yes um, Tabitha says, she said big red flag should be number one. You cannot. So, ooh, and, and people have their own, what they're looking for when they're dating. So I would say if you're looking for a relationship and you're dating, then you should leave sex off the table. Sex should not be on the table if you're just dating. Now, if you're in a position to where you you're not looking for a relationship and you just out having fun and you're dating. And if that's what you want to do, then fine. But if you're, you're going to send the wrong message if you're having sex with individuals and they're not going to take you seriously. Well, the man is not going to take you seriously. I okay. Mean, so wait a minute. Let me just understand what you just said here. So if we just dating and not trying to go anywhere, it's okay to have sex. I said, but you if we're dating and trying to go somewhere, we shouldn't have sex. You if, should if do if you're dating. If you're dating multiple people, you should not be having sex with them. Now, if you're not trying to have a relationship and that's what you want to do, yes. But if you're dating with you, if you're being intentional about dating, you should not be having sex with everybody you're dating. No, you shouldn't. But with the one person that you have in high hopes for, that no may be be forcing everything off because don't you don't know how it's going to turn out. You don't know how it's going to go. So that's why I say high hopes. Ooh, Number Kimmy, two. Um, Kimmy wrote a whole paragraph. Kimmy, girl. Um, oh, okay. Kimmy said, how would you handle a situation if you did make a mistake and go off physical emotions and have sex too soon, but you really, really like the person and can reel them back in to get to know more of a deeper you after you expose sex to the game too soon? I'm going to let a man answer that. What? You gotta sit here and read this whole thing again. I just read it for you. She she's saying if you had the sex, if you had the physical the already, version, because you said give me the short version. Oh, I am okay. She said if you had sex with the person already, right? You already had sex, but you want to reel them back in to get to know a deeper you, but you have exposed them to sex too soon. Can you can you reel them in so they can get to know who you are, even though you already had sex? I think that's right, Kim. Um. Yes, they could be reeled back in. They could be. What you need to do is reset, restart, refresh. Is the man going to think you're playing games? Because a lot of times men will think, okay, she's playing a game. She done already gave me the sex. Now she wants to pull back and want to get, you know, maybe in a relationship or she wants to get closer. But I already, I already got the sex. Like. Is he going to think she's playing a game because she wants to reset? 
I think it depends on the how fast that they were moving. It's like, well, look, if you know, if you know, every time you see that person, y'all are having sex. And then now all of a sudden, when you see that person and you're like, no, 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 not right. You know, not now. But wait a minute. You've already set the pace of what we were. You know, every time when we get together, it's going down. So for you to now stop and try to, you know, change and realter that, I'm not going to see you in a different way, but I am going to see that something else is going on. I need to know what's happening here. Why is it happening? And what's the new, the new mindset? Because we were here and now we're here. So what happened in between the in between is what I need to know because something changed and you didn't let me know. So, you know, I mm -hmm. think afterwards that that man, I mean, you and that man, like once you like, hey, I, I might have caught feelings for you. I really, you know, my heart is really into this. And then that will just give him a little step back, a deep breath. And, you know, for him to really dig deep and think about where he want to be with you and in this um, this relationship where y'all at. You know, we're trying to avoid the entanglement or situationships and all that other stuff. Okay, I hope that answered your question, Kimmy. Yes, Kimmy, I hope that answered your question. Okay, Kenya said women are emotional and that's a problem. Girl, you already know. <laughs> we are very emotional. If, if only we can be logic like men and not. This world, this world would be, man, come on. If we were like that, man. See, that's number four on my list. It would be crazy. So we are emotional. So go go ahead with your number four or number. Well, we were number two. We didn't get to number two. Number two. We did. Number number two. Two. We did. I did. Yeah. I, we no, did. you did a number two. We, I didn't do my number two. Go ahead. Demanding too much. Demanding too much, ladies. What's too much, Rizal? What's demanding too much? You know, every Friday, there's a show that I watch called Ready to Love. And there's a girl on there. And right from the door, she wants to know finances. She unclaimed the poor guy. He hasn't got a chance to see anybody, you know, like see if there's anybody else that he connect with. She wouldn't know finances, what his mother last name, what his father do, all these different things. She want to know, hey, can I have some money? Can you take me shopping? Demanding too much too soon, too early. That's a good way to filter out individuals. It's a way to filter that out. No good. That's a good way to turn me off and send me going the other way. For those who, for certain men, but certain men see it as a challenge and be like, okay, let me that see. ain't no damn challenge. This is, again, I'm sorry, this is PG-13. That is irritating. That is the wrong thing to do. I say be upfront with what you want. Be upfront with what you want. Be yourself. Be authentic. And somebody will love it. You're gonna, you're gonna, some people gonna run away from it, shy away from it. Some people gonna think you crazy, but be who you are. Don't be one way. And, and that's on my list too. Don't be one way. And then all of a sudden you changing midway when the honeymoon phase is over, you somebody else. If that's who you are, be who you are. Somebody is you going can't to be so. You can't be upset if I'm asking you what that mouth do, and and we didn't get to ask like, what's your favorite ice cream? You can so say you what that mouth right do, what's and all she these can just shut you down and go. You want, my bank, you want to know what my bank account and how much I can contribute and this or that, and how we gonna split finances? And we only been talking for thirty seven minutes. I'm telling you, some women do that. Interest all, after thirteen. Some women do that to deter you. Some women do it to deter you. If they know they don't want to be bothered with you, but they really can't shake you, they'll put that, they'll say stuff like that. Because they so know you can't do. hold that end of the bargain. They will say stuff like that. The um, plain Brenda, unavailable games. Brenda says, thanks, too many questions too soon, got it. Too many questions too soon? Or too, he said too many demands, Brenda. Not demanding question, too right? much. Mm -hmm. Demanding too much. Um, Kenya said, um, Tabitha said she loves Ready to Love. And um, Kenya said, I actually watched that show um, to the people. What? And they're, I, uh, to the people. Oh, she said they're hilarious. I'm sorry. Um, she said they're hilarious. Oh, too many, right, Brenda, too many demands, um, Rosal said. 
Um, I say put your core things out there. If you're serious, you don't really have to tell them what your core things are. Don't I wouldn't tell them, but um, because when you tell people, then they tend to um, act that out, knowing that it's really not them. But I mean, just be honest and upfront with what it is, who you are, and what it is that you want. And then now, now, I to, do get of, to get rid of people, I'm telling you. <laughs> At P, I'm telling you, you didn't is. want them in the first place. Then why bother? It's all. It's not that you don't want them. Sometimes you talk to people and you get to know people. It may be something that turns you off. It may be something that you're just not interested in them or whatever. It could be one little thing. No. Mm. And then now I'm not interested anymore. And that's why some people get ghosts. Some people get what they want. And they move on. Some people decide I'm not interested anymore. Don't. Kill yourself because of it. Move on. So many people in this world. It's so many people in this world that you can move on and 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 go talk. Men do it all the time, and I know men. Um, it's a. I know with men, it's a rejection thing, but men do it all the time. I mean, y'all do it all the time. If y'all in the club and you talk to one girl and she said, "No, beat it. I want to be bothered." You look around and see who else want to be bothered. You go right over there to that person. Hey, how you doing? I've been watching you all night. Blah blah blah. So if that person does not want, if you, if that person is telling you and showing you that they don't want to be bothered, then move on. Just move on. Okay, what number? What's your next one? I, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I said, what's your next one? My next one is focusing too much on your accomplishments and money. Hmm. That's just that was just a whole segue right into what <laughs> what we was just talking about about the so, money. Yeah. So boasting about like what you have, your degrees, your house, your car, like all of your things that you have and making him feel like this small, right? You're making him feel so small because of all the things that you have and your accomplishments. So ladies, men don't like when we lead with that. They don't like when we lead with accomplishments and money. They, they don't care. They don't care. Now, if it's a man that's trying to maybe, you know, put y'all things together, see how y'all can come up and bills and stuff. Yeah, okay. But it may be a man that already has the things and he don't, he doesn't need your money and he doesn't need your accomplishments. So, you know, eventually he'll find that out when y'all talking, but it shouldn't be the, it shouldn't be the top, you know, at, at the forefront of the conversation. Yeah. I don't need you to focus on more and all that, what you have. I need you to focus more on balance. How do I get to your level if I'm not on it? Or how do we balance these two things out so we both can pro uh, prosper and have more and move forward? That's what we need. Okay. All the other stuff I don't care about. You can have seven degrees, three Lamborghini, whatever, but that still ain't gonna, if you ain't the one that still ain't gonna keep me. All right, ladies, y'all heard that. Stop leading. Let's not lead with our accomplishments and what we have. Because for some reason, we feel like that makes us more attractive. And it doesn't. And that is a segue because my next one actually is too little femininity. Oh, wow. That's one of mine. Stop trying to be the man in the relationship. This was mine. Being too hard or too masculine. See, oh, see. Same thing. Mm -hmm. So what do you mean by that? Stop being a man in a relationship. What is what does that look like? Like what am I doing? If you're the if you're the bread, like you want to wear the pants. If you're the breadwinner, you making more than me. It's more like you want to control the situation instead of letting a man be a man. If I say, hey, let me pull out your, let me pull out your chair. No, I got it. No, let a man be a man. Okay. But if if are we going 50-50 or are you doing are are you doing everything? Are we going 50-50? We're balancing things. No, I, are we going 50-50? We're balancing things. What is there's no you looking at percentages and I'm looking at balance. So balance means it's sometimes good. you would be the head, sometimes I would be the head, and it just sometimes. balance out that way. Sometimes you may be 30%. I may be 70. Sometimes I may uh, be 30. You may be 70. Mm -hmm. 
So it depends on where you're fitting. You may be 24 or I may be 24 percent at one time. And then you got to be 76 or whatever it is, 86. So it all depends. It's not 50 50 here. We splitting all of these. Give me your half. I take your half like that. Nah. Hey, I was. And for me, it's like, hey, bill came in. Open it. Let me see. All right. I'm going to pay this. You may get to the bill before me. Maybe you'll say, hey, got the bill, I'm going to pay this. What's wrong with that? That's not even going 50-50. That's balanced, and we're just basically taking turns, taking care of everything. I opened it's not the bill. Like, you got you. this, you got this, you got this. I opened the bill for you, babe. So we both going to look at it. I'm just saying. I'm going to pay for it. It's going to come right out of the your account. <laughs> if it's my account, <laughs> you have no access. <laughs> um, oh, trust me. Women have access, trust me. Um, Lisa says no one will have it all together at all times. That's so true. And so that's where that balance come in, Lisa, what was always talking about. That is so true. Um, Tabitha says the women that don't display their feminine in feminine energy come off masculine. And a man doesn't want masculine energy. So open my door, pull out my chair, she says. And um, when they're on their date, that's what she wants to be done. That's right. She want to be courted. Hallelujah. Courted. Courted. Okay. Right. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. What you got? What you got? Um, we're going to take a quick break. <gasps> And um, if you are just tuning in, this is Warriors Talk with author and founder Lady Rochelle. Co-hosting with me is The Biz. We are live on Intellectual Radio, and we're talking about the biggest mistakes that women make while dating. We are going to take a quick break, and when we come back, Rizal is going to do his number three. No, uh, are you uh, number three? Uh, five. Um, number five of the biggest mistakes that women make in dating. So we're going to hear from our sponsor. And this is coming from Affordable Book Editing Services without skimping on quality. If you're looking for an affordable book editor, then look no further. I'm Mylia Simone. I'm a freelance book editor, and I offer affordable book editing services such as proofreading and manuscript critiques. It's time to work with an editor who knows and loves stories. Head over to my website, www.myleasimone.com to book me today. Got to get my sponsors in there because they are responsible for me being alive. All right, Rizal. So we're talking about the biggest mistakes women make in dating. And we're number five. My number five, yes. Combative stance. My number five. Men get tired. Like you're, you're trying to you meet somebody. You're trying to you know get to know them. Hey, you know let's get together. And it's just everything is just like like you're just trying to chew my head off. Like, what, did you have a bad day? Do you need a drink? Just sound like now you need a drink. Something need to calm you down. There's no need for us to get into an argument. All I did was say hello. So you don't want a woman. And that goes back, I guess, to that feminine energy, too. The masculine, the being masculine? Yeah. Because it could tie, yeah, it could tie it, a little bit could tie in there, yeah. I can see that. I mean, if, especially, and I, I really think, I, I think it depends. Like, even going back to the fem feminine energy and the masculine, like, um, I know with some women, like, if you're a single mom at home, and I'm not going to say you're playing both roles because you can't play the mother and the father role role. But if you're at home and you're you're doing everything by yourself and you're used to being in that independent role. And then when you get in a relationship or you get in a marriage, then you need to learn how to switch it over so that you can operate with someone that's interdependent versus, you know, you still operating as an independent person. Mm. And it's, it's tough. Um, you know, I can't say everybody because I got into a. <sighs> Really quick. So it was a young lady that I met, beautiful young lady, attractive. We started talking. She was telling me about her best friend. 
and best friend is a male and how me and him kind of have similar stories with our children. And he told her, if anything was ever to happen to me, I don't want my kids to have anything. Mm -hmm. That was his wishes. So she says, well, he could say what he want to say, but if he goes, I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them something, but you're going against his wishes. And we got into a big argument about that. You're being compatible about what this man want, you know, on his last wishes, you're still going to do the opposite. She became very combative and I never spoke to her again. Well, he should put it in writing. He don't have to tell her anything. It's called well, last will testament. Put it in writing. But he, well, from my understanding, he did that too. And she and should respect that. Yeah. Yes, she, she, she should. should. That. That's what the man wants. Yeah. But that's a whole other subject. Yeah. So she should you're that. what? Num you're, you have your number three, number four? Am I on number four? Or, or oh, your list. Four. Okay, so number four is having an entitled mindset and not being appreciative. Um, that goes with like a lack of respect too with an individual. Um, you feeling like, like he's supposed to do these things for you, you know, because that's what you're used to. Even though this is a totally different person that you with, Sometimes we do have this entitled mindset when we get with people and we figure that they supposed to treat us like everybody else treated us when we haven't really even communicated to them how we want to be treated. Right. So, and I'm thinking like this, that you're actually losing and pushing the person away because you're still trying to find what happened with your last relationship. You're still looking for logic on why the last relationship ended. Am I somewhere in the ballpark? Um, that's not what I meant, but. It still works. <laughs> I ain't here to argue. <laughs> Don't be competitive. I can be. I, I can be. Um, I, I pick my battles. This is not one of them. Okay. So moving on, we're talking about the biggest mistakes that women make in dating. And we just talked about having an entitled mindset and not being appreciative of the things that the man does for you. A simple thank you. Simple Especially thing. when he's trying. Because you got some men who may not have a lot, but his imagination is just so impressive that the little things that he do got to compliment him on. He's mm. trying. Or he tried. Or whatever the case. Well, you just lost me right there, but okay. That imagination thing. All right. Tabitha says, show appreciation for the things. <laughs> even if you feel entitled. Yes. Even if you just, just say thank you. Thank you, babe. You're so sweet. Men like when you stroke their ego. Just stroke their ego because if you don't stroke it, somebody else is going to stroke it. Just stroke his ego. But be genuine. Be yeah. genuine. Don't, don't just do it and not mean it. Just be genuine about it. Find something about him and compliment him on it and be genuine. Okay. All right. So let's go to the next one. Number six on your list, Rizal. Uh, Number six is, oh, fear of when it's too good. Explain. Women have a fear, you know, to say like, oh, this is just too good to be true. He checks everything on my list. Something is wrong somewhere. And now you got this fear like, mm, I got to get down to the bottom of it because there ain't no way that this guy has been the perfect guy for me and he's still available out here in right. these streets. Yeah, something wrong. Love he me. crazy. Something he wrong. crazy. Something wrong with him. He, he gaslighting me, all of the above. He crazy, y'all. He crazy. <laughs> Ain't no good guy just out there single. He crazy. Something wrong with him. He crazy, y'all. He gaslighting you to make him make you think that he's the one. I'm just kidding, but go ahead. Yeah, he could be gaslighting you, though. That's a real thing. He's just out there lighting up the infinity with all the clothes burning like they did in uh, was, uh, Martin Lawrence movie. <laughs> she <laughs> broke me down to my brake pads, though. What? <clears throat> Brandy. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, what can I say about too good to be true? You know, in, in that honeymoon phase, it does seem that way. And that's why you got to pump the brakes and you got to slow it down and get to really know that person, right? So that you can know them beyond the representative. A lot of times we don't get that. And once, you know, the 
the covers are pulled off. You're like, who is this? Like, that's not who, you know, I was liking or I'm, I was falling in love with. So if you just slow down and get to know who that person is, then if it is too good to be true, then it will continue to feel that way. Yeah, but you, you in, this, what, in, in the same, do, I have no idea. The dog agreed with me. Yes. The dog agreed? Yes. He was all cute too. That's right. <laughs> but the same thing go, the same thing for men. Like we up here telling our boys like, oh my God, she is so wonderful. She cooks, she cleans, she dresses sexy, do all this and give it three months. Give it just three months. Next thing you know, she's sitting there with bum buns, a new port with a, a, a hair bonnet on, sitting in the rack. Like, damn, what happened? Just three months ago, you was you was my everything. Now I'm trying to do anything to get out of this. Now, if she had a, had the new ports with the, the bonnet and stuff on when y'all hey, first right met, at the would bottom you have of talked the, to her? Hanging at the have, bottom of the lip. But would you have talked to her? You probably wouldn't. So she couldn't show you that part yet. You probably wouldn't even talk to her. She, she had to wheel you in first. See, that's it. No, because every, I mean, that's life though. If you with somebody, eventually yeah, you're going to see them in a bonnet. Eventually you're going to see them. You're with the wig see off. Them. That's yeah, why I say be yourself. Wig Look, wig off. Wig off. I mean, you know she got on a wig when you was talking to her. Y'all know what a wig look like. Y'all know what lashes look like. Y'all know that stuff going to have to come off. Y'all know if I went and got my butt done, my breast done, eventually it's going to start looking crazy. So y'all know. So that's what y'all, if that's what you like, then don't get upset when, you know, she start letting herself go, which you shouldn't let yourself go, ladies. Don't, don't let yourself go. You shouldn't let yourself go. The same way don't I met you go. is the same way you should be, should be. That, that should be both. So there should right. be no right. beer right. belly. Right. There should be no right. beer belly. Okay. Right. If I met you and you had uh, some abs, then I, then I, no, that's not being realistic. It's not being realistic because life happens and people get older. Like you still can be your best we'll self. Give a, we'll give them a 10 pound maximum. Self. I hear you. We'll give them a 10 pound maximum. Okay. We understand life happens. So we'll let you gain the extra 10 pounds or whatever, but no more than that. I don't want to hear 11 and three quarters, nothing. 10 pounds, that's it. No more than that. Rizal, these women going to hurt you. Okay, where we? <laughs> 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 need help. Okay, go ahead. We got a couple of minutes and we got to get out of okay, here. Okay, uh, I got my next one. Oh, the it will happen when it happened mindset. Don't rush it. Why, why are you rushing it? It's, it's, when it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We so girl, we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Matter of fact, we need to do it twice right. tonight. And we're not. That's exact ladies, don't fall for that. Do not see? and that's why fall see, that. and that's why we won't get nowhere. We both somebody could be the end of it could be the end of their world. Good. And I was just trying to have world? you to be all in my world, and now it's all over because this, you talking about don't fall for that. Don't fall for that. Don't fall for that, ladies. No, well, listen, in your twenties, baby, y'all could be missing out on some good. D, trust me, trust me. Look, like, get your y'all. You ain't missing, Jack. What's on your What's on your neck? What's your neck? No, no. When you get a little older, you realize you ain't missing a darn thing. When you get older, that's when you want it more. What are you talking about? No, you better stay that game for that younger, younger generation. You don't fall for the okie doke. You ain't nobody trying to stay. They like, look, I need to test drive this thing now to see what I'm getting myself into. Test driving because down the line, and it's like, wait a minute, this is what I signed up for? No, no, that's no, no, exactly no. Why I, we and that's why about. they quit so early. The biggest mistakes that women make in dating: stop letting people test drive you. Stop and it. That's why we're here. Stop it. Y'all too old. We too old. Don't let nobody test drive you no more. Uh, They're going to test drive you going over to the next vehicle, to the next vehicle, to the next vehicle, leaving their little droplets everywhere. No, no, absolutely not. Where we are you forgetting that some of these women in here, they need to be test drove. They want to be test drove. They ain't been touched and, and test fine. drove in God knows when. If that's so what you can't that look. If they want to go out there to the club and get them a little something, something. Girl, Kimmy, that's him. That's him. Tabitha said test drive leads to accidents. Tabitha, come on. Tap it up. Can we say y'all are hilarious? Okay, Rizal, we got to wrap this up. We, Of course, it's going to be a part two, you guys, because we did not. 
get halfway through my list. I had like 20 things on my list and we didn't get halfway through. And you only got, you didn't even get to number five. Uh, no. So, okay, give me your words of wisdom. Resolve, please. We still got more time. We still we got 10 minutes. We don't have more time. I got That's a show behind me. We have to be done at 55. Yeah, I have a show behind me. I got to be out of here. Uh, oh, wait a minute. The story you tell yourself will explain why you are where you are. Okay. Those are your words of wisdom? That's my words of wisdom. I like that. All right, ladies, here are my words of wisdom. Remember, you teach people how to treat you by what you allow, what you stop, and what you reinforce. So join me next Monday at 6 p.m. right here on Intellectual Radio. As always, thank you for tuning in to Warriors Talk with author and founder Lady Rochelle. Co-hosting with me today is Rizal Gilmore, a.k.a. The Biz. Warriors Talk is changing lives, one warrior at a time. Thank you for listening to this week's edition of Warriors Talk with Lady Rochelle. To find out more about Warriors Talk, follow at Warriors Talk, the number one, on all social media outlets and Warriors Talk with Lady Rochelle on YouTube. Please join us next week and every Monday evening at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on IntellectualRadio.com for Warriors Talk with Lady Rochelle, where we encourage, educate, and empower you into action.